Time to welcome you back to the circuit. Cost Harbour Kart Race Club, karting New South Wales. And it is time for the final tag, light and tag heavy. The midgets and the sumos are gonna get it on. First of all, in the lights, on track will be Zane Morrison in the 22, Scott Hargens in the 35, James Hamer in the 78 if he's got it going, I think he has, and Tyler Budden in the 94. In the heavies, the Cleveland Steamer, don't Google it. Alongside him, Nick Essery in the 30, Nigel Everest in the 58, and Ty Ruddy in the 69. Now we'll see who lines up where as they go, and from the front row does look to be Scotty Hargens and Zane Morrison again. They will slug this one out. Budden off the second row with James Hamer, who hopefully has the car going. He's peeled off for the last two heats. He'll have really good tyres, give him that. In the heavies, from the front in the heavies, the Cleveland Steamer. Don't Google it, the Queensland has come down to shake it up and he's won every heat so far. Alongside him, Ty Ruddy in the 69. And off the second row, Nigel Everest and Nick Essery. Here we go then, getting ready for the tag line heavy guys. Here they head down to Canteen Corner. Now we will see who's got the speed in the final 10 laps of racing. Do we go green? Yes, we do. Away we go. Zane Morrison gets the whole shot. Hamer, he's gone through the P2. James Hamer has got the jump and got the P2. Fresh tyres really could help him in this one. Can he make the cart sing? Can he keep it going? Hargers. Hagen's behind him, and now he's got to make inroads into that in front, so he's got to go with it. Scotty Cleveland got the jump in the heavy, so back towards me. Morrison, Hamer, Hagen, Budden, then in the heavy, Cleveland, Ruddy, Essery, and Everest is your order. Round they go, all starting lap number two, and head down through turn one, onto turn two, flat out. This is the penultimate final, one to go. And Morrison looks fast, but fresh tires on James Hamercart might well be the trick if he can do it. Round he comes, he does look mighty quick as Hamer. Can he go though? Will Morrison hold him up? Will he even stay in front? Hamer, new leader! Hamer though, has the comeback, now he does it again. Hamer's gone through. So the new tyres are indeed going to work for James Hamer. Morrison's going to do it with second handies. Oh boy, oh boy, that is a very big ask. James Hamer now going to hold it flat all the way through one and two. Morrison trying to stay with him. Down they go to the bowl. The Cleveland Steamers right on the back of the light, guys. So Scotty holding his own and Myers in front of the heavies. Then Ruddy, Essery, Everest is your order behind him. Back we go though. Still, Hamer, Morrison, Hargers, Budden, then the Cleveland Steamer. Then it's going to be Ruddy, Essery, Everest. Through they go, through the complex. As the leader's already going through turn one, down onto turn two. James Hamer, looking like he's going to get away, and Hargens this time can't seem to stay with Morrison. Morrison's the only one with the pace to stay with Hamer, but how long can Hamer hold this for? Hamer's really got to push on. He's going to have to keep going because Morrison won't give up on him. Morrison then, right behind Hamer. The number 78 really wants to push, and still he's pushing. <laughs> Hamer, Morrison, Hargers, Budden, the Cleveland Steamer, then Ruddy, Essery, Everett.
Everest go through. Heading to the complex. Everest chasing hard on Essary. Essary can't stay with Ruddy. Ruddy's got a good pace on him. Stays away from those two behind, but he can't match Scotty Cleveland's pace out front. So the Cleveland steamer looks mighty comfortable. But now Morrison, 0.419, the gap to Hamer on lap number four. This will make it five laps in, and can he? Can he hang on to those fresh tyres? Round they go, through the complex. Morrison, whoa, rain, rain again. Whoa, this could be dramas. A few spots once more. Hamer, comfortable through one, comfortable through two. Doesn't look phased at the moment. Morrison, though, still holding that gap to point four. He is not getting away. If he can start to reel him in and start to pressure him, it could be the what makes this final zing in the end. Hamer, though, holding the 78 cart really flat. Through Tyrrell, into the complex, through he goes. Morrison right with him. Down they go, down into the canteen corner. Then it's back on themselves on the start finish straight. Whoa, he's got a bit of a gap this time. Did he open it up? Yes, he did. 0 0.520. Hamer just got another tenth out of him. Scotty Cleveland heads through hospital now and looks mighty fast and in a league of his own. Does Scotty Cleveland, oh, we got a car stopped over there, have we? Yes, we have. We've got a cart on the side. That is Nick Essary, I believe. So Essary's cart on foot, is it Nick? Yep, I think it is. Looks like Nick Essary's cart has stopped. And here comes the Cleveland Steamer. Looks comfortable. The Scotty Cleveland, the Fuse Projects number 14 cart came down for practice for the over 40s and he is absolutely launched it Ty Ruddy goes through then Everest goes through leaders though go past the stricken Nick Essary cart poor old Nick didn't deserve that he was going well as well back towards me though 0 0.790 to the good now is James Hamer doesn't look like he will be caught from Morrison then Hargers, Budden, here comes the Cleveland Steamer. Scotty, driving the wheels of the 14. Rowley goes leading the heavies from this man. Ty Ruddy comes back towards me on eight laps completed. So round goes Ty. Then Knight Everest goes through. Knight holding it as hard and close to the curb as he can. Through he goes, and already now heading back towards me, the leader of this race. That will be nine completed when he goes over the line this time. It'll be the boogie board he gets from Zane Morrison. The starter has it in his hand. As Scotty Cleveland goes back, he gives a hang ten. Scotty Cleveland, showboating has started. The Cleveland Steamer gives the hang 10 on the start of the final lap. And the Cleveland Steamer will just breeze his way to a comfortable win. Here comes Hamer. He is going to do the same. So James Hamer is about to come into the complex for the last time. Here he goes. Hamer goes through now. Morrison goes through. Here comes Hargers and Budden. Through they go. Your winner, James Hamer. Here comes the Cleveland Steamer. The big look. And second, James Morrison. Third, Scott Hargens. Fourth, Tyler Budden. And in the heavies, give it up. Your winner, the Cleveland Steamer. Second will be this man. Ty Ruddy heads into the complex for P2 for the number 69. Give it up. P2, Ty Ruddy, P3, Nigel 
Everest. Well done to the tag, light and heavy guys. Another cracker. Big slide from Scotty. Big, big drift session. And we've got the, uh, the one car, Nick Essary, to unfortunately take from the uh, track before we can get the, the last final underway. Well done to Ty Ruddy. Comes home P2 behind the Cleveland Steamer. So well done to Ty. Well done to Nigel Everest. 